to mediums as opposed to gels are often a lot more fluid. This is a, an acrylic medium with a gloss finish. This is for use with the open acrylic paints, but you can still use it with normal acrylics as well. But just to show you, so you see how it's got this uh, liquid texture to it. So what you'll do if I was working on the flat, this would all be in a, a pool and then you'd kind of take some of your acrylic and you just use it instead of water to dilute it. And it's very handy because what it does is it helps it to keep wet for that little bit longer as opposed to water, but again, it still keeps to help more of a consistency. What it does is it creates a paint film so it all kind of holds together in one film. You see how with the water, how it's separated out. Now I know this is on um, a glossy finish on this palette, but the same thing happens onto your canvas. Often if you just use water with your acrylic and you're trying to um, say block in the ground, it will kind of separate out and it won't stick together in a paint film. If you use a medium, it will uh, help keep it together so you can still go very thin. See how it um, you know, still stays, it doesn't um, fall down or roll down. As you can see, this little bit of water, perfect timing, is uh, kind of rolling down the page. This is the other thing with using mediums. If you're working on an easel, then often if you use water, it runs down your canvas and you don't want it to, you just want you know a, a thinner texture so that you can use the medium with it. Of course, with the water and the medium, you can use them both together as well, so you have well, a kind of halfway house between the two. You can see by how messy this is. This is one of my favourite mediums that I use. And I use this on, on most paintings. This again is a slightly, uh, looks slightly milkier than the other medium here. I find it very, very effective for, uh, for blending edges because it keeps that little bit wetter for longer. So again, a glaze is just a very, very thin layer of paint. It's a bit like having a see-through piece of, um, you know, like a sweet wrapper or something that's got a colour to it. You just put in like glass sheets of very, very, like a stained glass effect, really. And, um, and that's what's great about using the glazing liquid. If you can create these lovely thin layers that still stay wet, that you can just help to blend edges. And you can use as much of it with the paint as you want. This again is the acrylic retarder. Uh, this is like a slow drying medium. So all you do is you you know have your paint and you'd mix it in with it, and it just helps to keep it more workable. Now the the, the small amount that I put with it there, that's about all you can use with the um, retarder. You don't want to put too much in it, or it will always stay tacky, and it gives the acrylic a very strange texture to work with. Um, if you just uh, add a tiny amount to it, it can be very effective just to get that little bit of extra working time that you're after. But if you've been working just with water, what you will be aware of how suddenly, as with all these mediums, the acrylic starts to feel a bit slippier. You know, you don't have that kind of grab factor that you do when you just use water or just the pure acrylic paint as it comes out of the tube. I hope that's helped just to show you a quick introduction to acrylic mediums. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School.